Going back to Councilmember Fukunaga, Bill 58. Okay, I move that committee report 309 be adopted and Bill 58 pass second reading. This bill deals with streets, sidewalks, malls, and other public places. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Explanation has been provided. Again, no registered speakers. Anyone wishing to offer a testimony on Bill 58? Please, sir. Go ahead. Good afternoon, Council Chair Martin. Good afternoon, Council Members. My name is Ross Asamora. I'm the Director and Chief Engineer for the City and County of Honolulu Department of Facility Maintenance. And I'd like to deliver some testimony regarding Bill 58. The administration remains in general support of the proposed legislation and its intent to protect the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of the City and County of Honolulu. However, we respectfully request deferral of this legislation until our department has the necessary resources to provide effective enforcement. Our present workforce dedicated to the enforcement of stored property and sidewalk nuisance ordinances conducts operations and manages removed items 40 hours per week. Their response time to reported stored property and sidewalk nuisance violations are directly influenced by the reported areas of violations and the numbers of items requiring removal. We are concerned that the addition of another ordinance to enforce will increase the numbers of sites to enforce as well as property removed and stored in our secure facility. This will likely result in delays responding to specific stored property and sidewalk nuisance violations reported by the public. We also anticipate increased contested case hearings resulting from the enactment of the legislation, which will affect our administrative staff and their ability to fulfill their other responsibilities. Our department is not presently funded, equipped, nor staffed for the projected increase in workload, and your thoughtful consideration of our present situation is much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Members, any questions for the director on Bill 58? Any questions? No questions? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anyone else? Bill 58. Yeah, please come forward. Thank you. My name is Roland Loy, member of Kali Farm Labor Board. Today I'm speaking as an individual. I'm in support of Bill 58. I have a neighbor complaining to me. They live in 215 North King Street, right across Ala Park. And she was walking on Bell 10th Street and went dog and bit her. I told her, why don't you call 911? I said, no, I look at my watch. It's if I call 911, a policeman come, I'll be late to work. So it didn't report it. To me, it's just not fair. Because what happens is on Bell 10th Street, those so-called social challenge people live on the sidewalk. They have a dog, they have a, they have a skip, and they have a moped. And there are two dogs right there. One's black dog, one's a white dog. I believe Bill 7 already passed by UFOs. I think XPD should enforce those laws. It's just not fair for the people living there. Uh, as prisoner in their own home evening, they are afraid to come out. So again, I support this bill. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Members, any questions for the testifier? No questions? Thank you. Anyone else on Bill 58? Now, members, we are in discussion. Any discussion on Bill 58? Councilmember Fukunaga. Thank you, Chair. Uh, this bill and Bill 59 uh, do do have a number of concerns that the Corporation Council has raised and the committee expects to work closely with the administration and the Corp Council in addressing those concerns. Um, we would like to get the bill passed on second reading so that we can tackle the bill and tweak it to make it a little bit more um, um, legally defensible. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Fukunaga. Any further discussion, members? If not, again, members, this requires a roll call. Madam Clerk. Councilmember Anderson? Aye. Councilmember Chang? Aye. Councilmember Fukunaga? Aye. Councilmember Harimoto? Aye. Councilmember Kobayashi? Aye. Councilmember Manahan? Aye. Councilmember Menor? Aye. Councilmember Pine? Aye. And Councilmember Martin? Yes. Mr. Chair, we have nine up. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Committee Report 309 has been adopted and Bill 58 has passed second reading. Moving on to Bill 59, Councilmember Fukunaga. I move that committee report 310 be adopted and bill 59 pass second reading. Uh, this bill prohibits persons from lying down on public sidewalks subject to exceptions. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Explanation has been provided. Again, we don't have any registered speakers. Anyone on bill 59? If not, we're going to move right into discussion. Any, any further discussion other than what you provided previously? Nope. No. No? Okay. Again, members, this requires a roll call. Madam Clerk. Councilmember Anderson? Aye. Councilmember Chang? Aye. Councilmember Fukunaga? Aye. Councilmember Harimoto? 
Reservations. Councilmember Kobayashi? Aye. Councilmember Manahan? Reservations. Councilmember Menor? Aye. Councilmember Pine? Reservations. Councilmember Martin? Yes. Mr. Chair, we have nine ayes. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Committee report 310 has been adopted and Bill 59 has passed second reading. Final, final matter, Bill 60, Councilmember Fukunaga. I move that committee report 311 be adopted and Bill 60 pass second reading. This bill relates to publication dispensing racks and prohibits uh, certain uses uh, on, on those racks. Okay. Again, we do not have, uh, oh, it's been moved and seconded and explanation provided. No registered speakers, anyone on Bill 60? Oh, that's what you was waiting for. I thought you was waiting for a taxi cab. <laughs> <laughs> you wait for a taxi cab after this one. Uh, yeah, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much, members of the council. Um, my only comment to this is that uh, we're in support of this. Uh, I was involved in the first uh, go-around with uh, Mayor Harris on the, the setting up of the, the, uh, the publication racks. The biggest problem, we, which we didn't anticipate, was that we made the top flat. Uh, so you have half of your, your, dis, your, your newspaper dispensers over there with a flat top. So, peop, uh, so it, 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 you're going to fi still find a lot of people lying on it. My, what I'd like to offer is that when you go around to the uh, next uh, budget issue that uh, uh, maybe you start phasing those out. Otherwise, you, can, you know, if, you, if you, the police get to enforce this uh, ordinance, it's, uh, you're going to find a lot of problem down in Waikiki. But anyway, just want to bring that up to date so that you understand. The newer ones are rounded, so you're not going to get people lying on top of it, but the old ones are flat, so, which is a big mistake on our part when we, did, when we first designed it. So uh, anyway, thank you. Yes, okay. Just one, as a point of, point of notice, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Sorry. Members, any questions for the test of fire? If not, thank you, sir. Anyone else on Bill 60? No one else? Okay, members, again, any discussion? Any discussion, members? No discussion? Okay, again, this requires a roll call, so Madam Clerk for the roll. Councilmember Anderson? Yes. Councilmember Chang? Aye. Councilmember Fukunaga? Aye. Councilmember Harimoto? Aye. Councilmember Kobayashi? Aye. Councilmember Manahan? Aye. Councilmember Menor? Aye. Councilmember Pine? Aye. Councilmember Martin? Yes. Mr. Chair, we have nine ayes. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Committee Report 311 has been adopted and Bill 60 has passed second reading. Members, any announcements? Councilmember Kobayashi? Thank you. Um, Chair Martin is wearing his pink tie, and Councilmember Stanley Chang is wearing his pink tie and pink shirt. And I want all the members to be aware that this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So get out your pink ties and shirts. Thank you. Thank you. And Vice Chair Anderson also has a pink tie. Ah, of course. Right. Oh, yes. Yes. Vice Chair Anderson has his pink tie. Thank you. Any further announcements, members? If not, Vice Chair Anderson for the motion to adjourn. Mr. Chairman, I move that the council stand adjourned until Wednesday, November 6, 2013 at 10 a.m. at Woodward Community College. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any objections, members? Noting no objections, the, this meeting is adjourned until Wednesday, November 6, 10 o'clock at Woodward Community College. Thank you, members. Maybe I can con my wife. Thank you.